Hello everyone, Adam here, and today I'll be discussing Borderlands 3. This will be a short impressions video of how I feel about the game. There will be a full written review on NoobFeed.com soon. Let's just address the fact, Borderlands excelled in popularity after Borderlands 2 release. The first game was well received, but it was Borderlands 2 that catapulted the franchise into popularity. This was mostly due to the outstanding antagonist, Handsome Jack, who is considered one of the best characters in gaming and for good reason. He was a layered, complicated character that follows the player throughout the journey and shows to be a deadly threat to everyone. Depending on how you view Handsome Jack, he could be seen as an anti-hero as well. As after Borderlands 2's massive success, fans were constantly asking Gearbox for a sequel and they technically did deliver on a new Borderlands game in the way of Borderlands the pre-sequel, but fans wanted a Borderlands 3. And now that it's here, it does the job. It's more Borderlands with all the looting and shooting you could possibly imagine. You collect powerful guns and other items to power up your Vault Hunter, which you can choose four from to fight even more deadly enemies. The Vault Hunters all are unique and have different skills within their skills, with the players able to build subclasses with each of the characters. It's definitely more elaborate, so if you do play cooperatively, you won't have multiple characters having the same abilities. You can have one Vault Hunter who acts as multiple different classes. You have Amara the Siren, Zane who uses holograms, a mech pilot and soldier named Moe's, and Flak who controls Beast. Shooting has been dramatically improved. In previous games it always felt floaty and didn't have weight to them, now it does, and common items such as ammo and health are automatically picked up instead of you have to hold down a button which is incredibly convenient. Another major improvement is the speed of traveling between fast travel points inside a map, which is nearly instant but it takes a while when you're traveling between different areas when you hit a specific point. You'll spend a lot of time traveling as the game has easily over 60 hours of content, with plenty of side missions to engage into and the main story having an extensive array of ex elaborate quests and bosses to fight. The humor is hit or miss, it varies depending on your taste. Personally I enjoyed it because I was expecting this from Borderlands. Claptrap bravado, Tannis being antisocial, and Marcus valuing money above everything else. I do think if Borderlands 3 came out earlier during this console generation, that the humor would have been much more well received as opposed to how modern era taste has changed how, what people find funny or not, but like, that's just my opinion. What I did find annoying were the new antagonists. Twin, sis, twin siblings Tyreen and Troy Calypso are internet stars who have a devoted following of bandits who will die for them. They've turned their internet stardom into a faith and are using their followers to find legendary vaults for their own gain, killing anyone in their path. It's hard to get into details without spoilers which is why I'm showing a, consi a consistent stream of footage right now. But basically, the twins are arrogant, selfish, and spend most of the time trolling the player. They never evolve past anything, and they just become annoying eventually. It could be that I was expecting something on par with Handsome Jack for these new villains, which can seem a little unfair, but unlike Handsome Jack who develops and changes during the adventure, becoming more unhinged and taking extreme measures towards the end of the game, the twins never go beyond their original personas. The writers did throw in some shocking moments as the Borderlands franchise has made it clear that no one is safe as shown in past entries. Main character or not, anyone can die and it kept me engaged with the story with these types of shocking moments. In addition, the game does suffer from technical problems. I did play on Xbox One X so I can't discuss anything beyond this platform. As most, the uh, most predominant issue was the slow interface. Basically, entering the menu would noticeably slow down the frame rate, and it can't become annoying since you'll constantly be opening the menu to change gear, look at the map, or check on side objectives. Lastly, the bosses can be giant bullet sponges. While the bosses are amazing and you can easily fight them again and again for added experience or farming gear, some have unreasonably high health. I can't show which boss this is for spoilers, but one boss took 20 minutes to defeat. And I was one level higher than this boss with an exotic weapon that made mincemeat of every enemy I countered prior to the boss. This can make solo in the game a bit frustrating unless you invest into a vault hunter who can recover health. Those mains who go into the game solo will have a definite hard time because I started playing as Moe's for a fourth playthrough and yeah, she is not a good solo character. 
So those are my views on Borderlands 3. It's a great game. I had a lot of fun with it, but it has its shares of problems. It's technically flawed, the interface can get a little laggy, and the bosses can become giant bullet sponges. The Calypso twins just... They're not really good antagonists, they're just really one-dimensional and they eventually become very annoying characters. The core gameplay is still as strong as ever. Looting, shooting, and collecting items is still a great thrill. I love getting new items to fight much more powerful beasts and I love upgrading my character with new skills, trying out different builds, and again, just getting new guns throughout the game. I don't think I found a single gun that was a replica of another gun. Yes, they sometimes look the same, but in terms of statistics, I was constantly swapping out different weapons to see what worked best with what and in that aspect Borderlands 3 works very well the humor is hit and miss and it depends largely on personal taste if you come into Borderlands 3 expecting the same writing from the other Borderlands game and you enjoy that you'll like the writing here but again the Calypso twins are no handsome Jack he still stands above as one of the greatest characters of all time but nevertheless I had fun with Borderlands 3 if you have the money to spare and you're looking for a good time just to shoot and kill enemies while getting more powerful characters, this game will serve its purpose. And if you love Borderlands, it's more of the same, but if you never liked Borderlands or you never had any interest in the franchise, this won't change your mind. Anyway, there's the video. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, everyone.